California's largest lake is shrinking. That's been losing a lot of water. Fish kills are common at the Salton Sea, which lies about three hours east of San Diego in the Imperial Valley. Dead fish line the shores of the Salton Sea. Every summer, thousands of tilapia die here each year when the water heats up and the oxygen levels drop. Then there's the awful smell created when the winds periodically stir hydrogen sulfide from the bottom of the lake, stripping oxygen from water closer to the surface, producing a rotten egg stench. You don't want to go down there. Uh, you don't want to walk around the water because of the muck. And um, it's, you know, dead fish, smelly. We don't go down there anymore. Sandra Jambor says it was a much different experience when she visited the Salton Sea in the 60s as a teenager. It was so much fun. It was like coming to a resort because they used to have like a boardwalk with little, little shacks where you can kind of walk up and buy an ice cream or a soda. For Jamber, the Salton Sea brings back fond memories. The celebrities used to come out here. This was the place to go. This was it. Start spreading the news. In the 1950s, resorts popped up along the Salton Sea, and celebrities like Frank Sinatra, Bing Crosby, and the Beach Boys flocked here to the North Shore Beach and Yacht Club. The building has since been restored and is now a community center. On the east side of the lake is Bombay Beach. It was another popular tourist destination, but these days... The resorts are long gone. Here at Bombay Beach, many of the mobile homes have been abandoned and left to rot. The bottom line is the Salton Sea needs more water. Right now we are in a um, receding of the Salton Sea um, due to various things, um, water transfers, droughts, um, just reduction in water going to the sea due to farming practices. Experts say allowing the sea to shrink poses serious environmental concerns. There's also the potential for harming wildlife, the fish, the birds that feed on the fish, um, they won't have a place to stop. There are more than 400 species of birds that fly through the area on what's known as the Pacific Flyway, a 5,000 mile stretch from Canada down to Central America. Experts say if nothing is done, the sea's water level will plummet. As indicated by this green line on this map, 100 square miles of lake bed will be exposed by the year 2030. So there's dust emissions that could um, pose threats to agriculture and human health. Imperial County's air quality already fails federal and state standards, and experts warn that increased dust from the Salton Sea lake bed will make it worse. Whenever the wind blows and the dust blows, my son gets sick. Happens every time. Sandra Jambor moved to the Salton Sea in 2006. She believes the blowing dust is responsible for her 12-year-old's health problems. He was never sick before we moved here, and then he said he'd gotten really sick. But Jambor is hopeful that the Salton Sea will return to its glory days, and so are the people working to find solutions. Right now we are standing on the largest known geothermal resource area in uh, North America, and that has a large potential for um, geothermal plants and renewable energies to come into the Salton Sea region. With that, you could have revenues being used for mitigation, um, either through air quality mitigation or creation of habitat. The San Andreas Fault runs directly under the Salton Sea. Magma from the Earth's center rises through shifting tectonic plates, creating this cluster of small gurgling mud pots or mud volcanoes on salt-crusted lake bed that was covered with water less than 10 years ago. Amid the drought, many questions remain about whether water diversions currently aiding the Salton Sea might end as early as 2017. There have been many lawsuits and proposals for a permanent solution, but nothing has proved successful. Now, time and water are running out. From the shores of the Salton Sea with photojournalist Hain Palmer IV, I'm Luis Cruz reporting for the San Diego Union Tribune.